before unlocking Prif and Invention, like the two things to do were Prif and Invention. Now that those are done, I feel like I could do just about anything and it wouldn't be a bad idea. Another hard clue scroll. All right. Loot from 22 spiritual warriors, three hard clues. You know what I find crazy? Like I'm boosted to 91 magic and I'm splashing this much with augury as well, which is like, you know, not a slouch of a curse. But I think boss like this, this is where the leech curses are very useful because when they're fully charged up, they give you the same boost as, um, they give you the same boost as augury, but they also reduce the opponents by like 12%. So it's like, it's way, way better. Yeah, we're making good progress here. What is that? It's a Sardom's Murmur. As my first drop, I got the ranged amulet. Let's go, my first unique from this boss. I'll take it. Even though like, obviously that's like definitely the most useless thing I could have gotten. I will absolutely take it. A uh, bit of a close call there at the end, but that is the end of the Reaper assignment. We managed to do the entire thing in one trip. Let's get out of here before I make any other bad choices. All right, Death, what Reaper do you have for me now? Giant Mole. Should I do it? I've never done the Giant Mole. I know it's like not gonna like kill me or whatever. It's just like, is it annoying? It's very annoying. Skip. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> you know what? Before I go die to QBD again, there's one thing I want to do. That is 99 farming, the first level 99 on the account. So now if I do end up dying, at least I can say I had a 99. It doesn't feel like I worked super hard for this one as player owned farms are absolutely busted, but I'm very glad to see it done. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. All right guys, it's QBD time. Oh man, why? Why is it QBD time? It should never be QBD time, but it's QBD time. Obviously, I'm a lot higher level and my gear is a little bit better than it was on the day of the incident. The most important thing is I do have super anti-fires now, but still, this boss is uh, a little unfriendly to me. I'm playing this Reaper assignment extremely safe because it would be absolutely the worst if I were to lose another life to the Queen Black Dragon, but I also won't get better at this boss by not doing it. I think it's pretty safe right now, especially with the super anti-fires. We're just going to take it nice and slow, nice and low, and get it done. Resistant on last phase. Okay. Whip. Whip. Ow. We're good. Not the problem. That side of the lance is so nice. Even resistant, I can actually hit pretty well. We did it. QBD Reaper complete. 10 Reaper points. 10,000 Slayer experience. And my third Royal Crossbow piece. No, just, just kidding about that. But it could happen. Ready? 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 Eh, just kidding. Got some logs, though. You know, when it's all said and done, I would call that a great success because I am now leaving the Queen Black Dragon with my hardcore status. Late game invention is roughly a 25% DPS increase and a 25% damage reduction as well, so it's absolutely busted. But trading up the low levels, especially on an Iron Man, is either extremely annoying or extremely expensive. So what I've been doing is disassembling a lot of low level stuff, making any kinds of gizmo shells I can as you get 600 XP per, and I've also been potting up to research things that are above my max level. In doing this, I should be able to get a bunch of free levels. I also currently don't have a good way to upkeep divine charges as I'm only level 80 divination so we're gonna need to think about that as well for now though i'm just focused on xp and i think i'm gonna do the majority of it by skilling things like the fish vacuum the pyromatic and the hammertron are all really good ways to get xp that don't cost a lot of divine charges and are pretty afk as well i've done 147 avnzs without my full slayer helmet on it's like it's too late to leave now too like now nah, we're just gonna we're gonna finish it like this but i am so disappointed in myself I've got one kill left on my Slayer assignment, and I've got more than enough kill count to take my first crack at a Kriara kill. I don't think it's going to be too hard, but just in case, I do have a teleport out, so let's go in and try and get our first ever Kriara kill. Wait, Kriara has 75,000 life points? What in the world? Okay, that's way more than I thought. Wait, is prey range? But I haven't been hit yet. Alright, I'll prey range. I think I'm gonna do it though. Yeah, we're good. Call it the first Kriara kill. 50 seconds. New personal record. Thank you for the Runite bolts. 
We out here slaying the boss. Oh, I got 100 points for that as well. Oh, that's so sick. All right, scavenging. It's time to work your magic. Two more. One more. And task complete. Get out. Whew. We're fine. <laughs> you know, maybe a little close, but I don't know. I've got a sign. I've got a ring. We're all good. The final chest on the Barrow's Reaper. What do you got for me, bro? I mean, I guess? Not terrible. We actually got ourselves 17 Reaper points for that, though. Which means we are currently sitting on 158. That's very decent. Just like that, we can augment to level 10. There we go. Get that done. Get that done. Just need to make sure I get it perfect. Satisfactory, poor, good. Good is good. Very good is, is very good. Excellent is excellent. Um, wait for it. There. Done. I literally think I have to make two. No, just one. Perfect. Level 27. Mission complete. I'm just cooking up some Menifos food as that's the food I normally use when training Slayer. I don't have a ton of divine charges, but it's been a lot of fun to slay with the Dragon Rider Lance, especially since I threw the scavenging two perk on it and there's that very rare, unlikely chance of getting something really, really cool just by doing a regular Slayer task. I've also made an equipment siphon so that once it gets leveled up to 10, I can siphon it back down for invention XP. Of course, I would siphon it at level 12 if I had the level to do that. Also, that's level 77 ranging. Getting closer and closer to that 80 mark. And then I will convince myself to get a Royal Crossbow and then lose the Hardcore. Can't wait. Yeah, Whips are, you can get them off task as well. The Wand Orb are so rare without a task. Like they're actually like insane. That's all 93 Constitution. I will take it. Be even harder to get killed by the QBD, right everyone? I mean, um, again. Oh, I forgot to go to the Rogue's Den. I'm such a mess. Oh my God. That's an Abyssal Wand. That is so rare. Wait a second. That thing is so rare. I've only got 400 kill count. Literally been using a Mystic Wand up to this point. Level 76 prayer. Wait, what's the prey XP per hour here? 47k. Sorry, 41k. It's like the poor man's virus right here. I'll take it. One step close to soul split. That was an unreal task. Let's go grab another one. Hey, that's level 93 attack coming in. We're, now that we've switched over, we're kind of flying towards our, uh, our second 99 on the account. It's really nice because every attack level gets you, it's like about half a percent hit chance on the God Wars 2 bosses. So it actually should be very noticeable when I'm doing things like Vindicta or Hell or any of that stuff. Task complete. That is task complete. So maybe I'm missing something, but it seems like a ton of hardcore Ironmen die killing elves, and I'm not really sure why that is. They seem pretty safe to me using the method that I'm using, but either way, I'm being extra careful here. I've popped the vamp aura, and I'm like almost expecting something to just like one-shot me, because I feel like one in like 15 or one in 20 hardcores that die happen to die to elves. So anyway, we're gonna focus up here and get the task done. Hey, that's level 88 Slayer coming in. I can finally do the Grafalopines I've been wanting to do this whole time. And actually, Corrupted Scorpions are really good. I didn't realize they were that low level. I thought everything in there was like 95 plus, but I'm clearly mistaken. And that's, yeah, that's a good level. What is that? A Serenic Scale? Okay. Ring of Fortune on, and that is a new PR. Oh, just kidding. I jumped the gun a bit. Oh no, it was. 158, we're sick. Are you kidding me? I didn't want a ring of life, bro. This is why I shouldn't wear a ring of life. Like I literally didn't want that at all, but all right. I was about to get my res, literally stole my rezo, dude. I do need to remember that I do have it on though. So I need to save up a little more so that it doesn't teleport me out. It is, it's very good in case of a disconnect or something, but for things like that, where it's like, it's a controlled situation where I know I'm about to get a heal and I've got a sign, I'd rather just, you know? Now that I've got invention unlocked, I'm really starting to enjoy Slayer a lot more but my armor is not optimal for that. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time at General Guard or just to hopefully make a couple upgrades. I'm not gonna camp the boss until I've got the whole set or anything, but let's go and see what happens. All right, so chat, what do we pray for banners? We pray Wolf, right? Gotta be pray Wolf. I should be anyway, I'm not hitting very well. Uh-oh. 
Um, we're good? Question mark? Yeah, we're good. Raw Lobster RDT. Beautiful. But more importantly, I didn't die. Hey, that's our Reaper done. Seven Reaper points. Pretty sick. We've been kicking around doing a little bit of everything this video, but I think I've finally got a plan. I want a quest, which is not something I ever thought I would say, but we've been slaying this entire time in rock shell gloves. I've got 170 quest points, so why don't we smash out Barrow's gloves right away? After Barrow's gloves, I'm thinking it might be about time we get the World Wakes quest done. There's one part of it in particular that is extremely dangerous on a hard crime man, and a lot of people die there, so it should be pretty intense, pretty exciting, and hopefully we can get it done without making any mistakes. If we mess it up, well, that'll be the end of Fast Drag. Can I just say, this dude majestic. Like, if I could have a pet one of these bad boys following me in combat, it doesn't even need to do anything. He's so majestic, he would distract my enemies. What a beauty. Oh! Oh, he's, he's getting walked. <laughs> he can't attack me because of where he spawned. What a poor dude. This game is too easy. This quest was really long. There's a lot of walking back and forth, slightly anticlimactic boss fight, but that's really my own fault. But regardless, I'm very glad to have gotten it done. On to the next one. We had previously completed three subquests. I think I did the Dwarf and the Goblin just for quest points, and I freed Evil Dave so that I had access to Evil Dave's Big Day Out, which makes a plus six spicy stew boost very common. Three subquests down, five to go. I've put a timer on the top left. Oh, if I burn this thing, I will not be happy. I'm like 70 something cooking though, we'll be fine. Easy. Took under five minutes to get that done. Took seven minutes and 47 seconds. All right, on to the next one. 13 minutes later, we got Rance out. There we go. Do not eat the snake. Pass it over and just like that. 10K agility XP as well. Don't sleep on the 10K agility. There we go. That table's looking pretty empty. Nine minutes, 29 seconds. Sir Amic Vase has been freed, and it's cutscene time. With the subquest complete, it's time to take on the. F did I did I just one shot? I honestly don't think they've changed the HP values since the EOC. All the minions are weak, but it's time to fight the actual bot. Bro, are you kidding me? What? Why? A very easy clear of the final boss encounter of Recipe for Disaster. I can now finally get my Barrow's Gloves, which I know are not incredibly good, but I figured they'd be a good thing to unlock. It's also really quick quest points once you've got all the subquests unlocked, as you can get most of them done in less than 10 minutes. It's time for the World Wakes quest. My stats aren't super high and my gear isn't the best, but I should be able to get it done, and this quest is super important. Not only does it give you an absolute ton of experience, but more importantly, it gives me access to Sunshine and Death Swiftness, the two strongest abilities for Mage and Range respectively. I just got level 85 magic, so as soon as I get this quest done, I can actually start sunning. I threw on the heart rate monitor as I've got a feeling things might get a little spicy towards the end of this quest. Let's get it done. This Is this the tankiest boss in the entire game? What in the world? Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I've landed one hit so far. Okay, that was spooky. <laughs> I didn't like that. Yeah, I really didn't like that. We did it though. We're out of the boss fight and into the tough part. I need to run across this plane, and if I can make it to the end, I will have completed the quest and the rewards will be mine. 
If I get trapped by an icicle and rolled over by a ball of fire, it's very easy to one-shot myself, even from full HP. I need to be extremely careful here. I would not take this risk on the account unless it was absolutely necessary, but there's no feasible way to do Telos without sunshine, so this is a necessary risk to take. I've got three separate types of food, I've boosted my life points as high as I possibly can, and it's time to take our leap of faith. Okay, wait. I'm gonna wait for the big boulders, and then I'm gonna go wait for the rocks. I'm in ice, that's fine. Go now. Okay, that was so scary. I did not like that at all. That was so much freaking damage. Okay. 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 I, I see how you could lose a hardcore doing that. Like, I totally see it. I thought that was it, boys. When the icicle fell and I got trapped in it again, I thought, I'm gonna run along the icicle like I ran along the firewall and it's gonna kill me. Merlin's beard, I mean, Sarah Oman's beard. That is the World Wakes quest complete. Most importantly, we now can use Sunshine, so I pretty much just doubled my DPS. It's, it's kind of insane. I need 80 prey to use that, so I gotta drop that on the ground and I can get it back later. That's fine. Glossy Lamp Slayer, 110k Slayer XP, 100k Herbage. Okay, so if I can't put them all on Herbage, uh, what do I want to put them on? Agility? Yeah, gotta be Agility. 100k Agility. Thank you. How far off level am I from prayer? I'll put it on Summoning. We'll, uh, we'll even things out. It's level 76 Summoning. Can only use it on combat skills, so even though it gives me every option, so I guess... Herblord doesn't count as a combat skill, but prayer and summoning probably do. Oh yeah, I should do prayer. Oh, that's not considered a combat skill. But summoning is! Oh, I would have done it the other way. I'll take it. 77 and 124 combat. We out here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, and if you didn't, you're welcome to let me know why. Outside of that, I hope you're all well, and I will catch you in the next one.